In the indicative, we use personal pronouns like le, lui, leur, me, te, and so on, and put them before the verb to indicate the direct object and indirect object of the verb. For imperative statements, commands, we can use these same pronouns, but we put them after the verb. So let's look at some examples of how this works. If we have the sentence, regardez le film, watch the movie, we can make le film into le, just as we can say, instead of the movie, it. So we get, regardez le, watch it. Watch the movie, watch it. We can do the same for a sentence like Racontons l'histoire à Audrey which means let's tell the story to Audrey which becomes Racontons la lui Let's tell it to her La is for l'histoire the story and lui is for a Audrey, to Audrey. As a note, l'histoire means both history and story. And raconter, meaning to tell, is how, we say, is how the verb we use to tell a story. Let's look at some more examples. Va au parc. Go to the park. We can replace au parc with i, y, the letter y. So we get vas-y, go there. When we have i at the end, remember, for er verbs, like aller in this case, we add the s at the end of the tu form of the imperative, or we don't have it otherwise. So we get vas-y. This expression, vas-y, is a very common expression which means go there, or more generally, do it. Go for it. Let's look at another example. Mange de la soupe. Eat some soup. Mange de la soupe. In this example, we have a use of the partitive, de la. So to replace that in a pronoun, we use en. So we get mange-en, eat some. In this case again, since mange is the two form of an er verb, when it comes before en or i, we add the s at the end where we don't have it otherwise. So we get Mange-ci. C'est tout.